What's up everybody? I was in the middle of doing my weekly water change when I noticed that the fish are trying to mate. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's the albino male and a het female. And here they are. They've been doing this dance around the tank for quite some time now. He's been latched onto her uh, since the start of this water change. So it's been a good fit, uh, maybe five minutes that they've been circling around like this. So I think uh, he might almost be ready to finalize that mating ritual. So if they stay in this corner, away from those ripples, then we should be able to get a good view of this whole thing going down. So we're just gonna follow with her for a little bit and let's see what happens. They're back there in the corner over there. Let me see. I'm gonna turn down the water flow so that we can kind of see a little bit better what's going on here. But I, unfortunately, I have all these uh, cages here that are just getting in the way. Oh, here they are. So the advantage of having a bigger tank like this um, is that the female will constantly swim and won't keep running into the walls and turning. That's what happens in a smaller tank and the male usually um, loses his grip when, when the female turns against the wall like that. Oh, there he goes. Oh. right on the wall. It always happens like that. He tried to flip her and get underneath. There he goes, there he goes. Oh, see, he, he lost it again. That's the problem. Once he tries to, to go underneath and uh, she hits the wall, it makes it very hard for him to continue what he's trying to do. Let's come around to this other side. Uh, now, he already made two attempts to go underneath, so... Uh, Again, it happened. He blew his load. You see that white stuff right around there? So, typically the, the ritual is they, they, they swim around like that, and that's kind of like the foreplay. And, um, you know, when he's ready, he makes his move to, to get underneath her. And uh, once he does that, that means, you know, he's ready. And with two attempts, oh, look, 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 he's trying again, he's trying again. Come on, you can do it. But he's got to hurry up because I know he's ready already since he made two attempts. I would guess that this would be the final attempt. And once uh, he's not able to do it on this attempt, he's probably going to let go and uh, give up. Let's see here. All right, come on. These other rays are in the way. The female needs to be moving more but he seems to be a very good and persistent male and he's not letting go of his grip. But you see, oh, these are two other males. So they're sensing what's going on and they want to join the party now. Look, look at that. Now we got two males latched on. Oh, the albino let go. So after this little guy tried to join into the festivities, this guy gave up. And off she goes. All right. Well, sorry, guys. Another unsuccessful mating. Um, I'm still here doing the water changes. So if uh, any action starts to happen again, I'll be sure to record it for you guys. But uh, for now, that's it. Okay, guys. We are back. It's still the same water change. But look, it's the other male that's taken over. So that's a het male. And he found that same female. So... There's something going on with that female. She could be releasing hormones and uh, 
you know, sending the signal out that she is, you know, ready for breeding. Um, so, like, you know, we saw those two other males started joining in, and now this other one uh, jumped in. Where are they now? Okay. Uh, no, I don't think it's this female. They're, okay, they're back there in the corner somewhere. Okay, let's see. I can stop the water change. I can stop the water filling here and reduce the ripples. There they are. There he is. So it's the same female with a different male. And he's got this female cruising along the walls of the tank, so chance for success could be high. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, pretty much a, a tag team matchup here okay there he goes there he goes see he's got her he made it underneath the clasper is penetrated into the female and he's just shaking it off sorry for the glare they're working their way underneath the, the cage there but we can see something and he should be almost done and then he'll separate I wish I can get a better view of this I don't want to stick my phone in the water even though it's water resistant but look, he's kind of holding his, there we go, he's done. See, he shakes off, there's the excess uh, sperm. So, we got a successful mating, finally. I have to say, after all these years of filming for you guys, that was the one thing that I've never been able to successfully get for you guys, was an actual mating filmed live. And I think I've, I've shown you guys uh, babies being born, but never a successful mating. I know we've tried many, many times. So there we go. Okay, so that guy in the middle right there with the really unique pattern, that is the male. And was that the female? Yeah, I think that was the female. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna mark the tank, right? See how I, I always mark down the dates and, and write down the, the male, which male and which female. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I'm gonna go grab my blue tape for today's date. I'm gonna add four months onto there. The four month is not exact. You know, sometimes it varies the, the gestation period between uh, different species. And since these are hybrids, it could vary a little bit. But since they have, what was it? They have pearl blood in them. Usually it's gonna be more closer towards the three month mark but usually the gestation is anywhere between three to four months hey you know what <laughs> i'm actually really happy i get to check this one off my bucket list of uh of of uh, uh footage that i wanted to show you guys okay so see there's more sperm right there and then there's little bits down there and down there all right so in the next three to four months uh when she gives birth I can't wait to see what those pups are going to look like. Uh, you guys actually saw which is the father, which is the mother. Two very different looks, okay, uh, but they all stem from the same bloodline and that typically happens when you're doing hybrids, right? You'll get the broad spectrum or variation of different types of patterns. Hopefully, we're going to get some really good looking pups. Hope you guys stay tuned and check back with us when these pups are born. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how those pups look. And of course, we're hoping for some amazing patterns, which is always the goal. Keep my fingers crossed, all right? Where the albino failed, the, the hybrid stepped up and got the job done. But again, it was a team effort, right? So I guess just one male alone couldn't take down the female. And we have to give props to that albino male for wearing down the female and then he tagged out and then the other guy stepped in and got the job done. All right, well, thank you guys for watching and uh, it's uh, not, a, not, a, not a, a very well put together episode. It was more like an impromptu, just you know, spur of the moment video, but I am glad I got it for you. So thank you again for watching. Take care guys.